Hi guys, in this in, in this video I'm going to show you uh, about this debug toolbar and what all that is about. Um, so in the last video uh, we saw about this run, pause, break, and design button here. Um, so if we run a macro, uh, we'll go back to the same macro that I was using in the other video where I have 100 in cell 1.1 and if I run the macro then I get 400 because I'm adding a value to it. I'm adding 300 to the value. Um, so, what what if I debug this? You know, how do I debug this? So let me do a couple things here. First, I'm going to declare a variable. I'm going to declare an integer. So I, I just declared dim x as integer, so that my variable is x, and I'm going to set x equal to the value of that cell. And so I'm going to say x is going to equal the value of the cell and then I'm gonna say the value of the cell is gonna be equal to x plus uh, yeah why don't I do that I'll just do x plus 300 I'll do x is equal to x plus 300 and then so I'm doing I'm doing the same thing only I'm doing it with variables now so all this variable is doing is um, in the computer's memory I'm going to assign a very small piece of space in that memory that um, I can reference by the letter X and in that letter X I'm going to put in the value of that cell cell 1 1 which is a 1 so if you haven't seen variables before, just know that there are places in memory where they store data, and I'm going to store the value of cell 11. So let me just run this and show you that it works, and it does. I just ran it, and I have 700. If I run it again, I get 1,000, 1,300. So every time, I'm putting in 300 more than what is there before. So I take in the value, put it in X, and then I go X, that value is equal to itself plus 300. And then I put that value back in the cell. So what I want to do here is, is talk about debugging. So what do these buttons do? Um, the first one is called step into here. And if you put your cursor in the macro and you press it, what it does is just step through. It steps into the macro. And if you if you keep pressing it, you're going to see uh, <coughs> you're going to see the value change. So if I keep if I keep pressing this, watch the upper watch that cell A1 you'll see it just changed to 1900 and if I keep doing it I'm just stepping through line by line and um, it, it's it's just executing the macro line by line that's all this button does step into that's all it does step over uh, let me just uh, reset so that this is what that reset button does when you step it into something uh, if you wanna if you wanna be able to run it again you can do reset and it'll go back to the beginning it resets the uh, the the attention of the macro to the beginning. So that's what step into does. It just goes line by line, um, and this this step over um, this will jump over some lines of code. Like if you have a loop or an if statement, um, this will jump over stuff. So you could use either one, but they do the same thing. They just go through line by line. The, uh, this goes through line by line. This one will step over. So that's all they're doing is going through the code either line by line or um, if you have a, a loop or an if it'll step over certain areas of your code but that's all they're doing is going through the code at a much slower rate than you would than if you if you press this play button and then you have this step out button and all that does is uh, it gets you out of of the macro it's like the reset button okay so that's what these buttons do um, let's look at this breakpoint button so what, what does this do well all this does is <coughs> If you put your cursor here and you press breakpoint, uh, toggle breakpoint, this hand, it's going to put a red dot here. And what this is going to do is it's going to stop the macro at that point. So if I run the macro, it's going to stop it at that point, exactly what I said. That's all it does. That's all a breakpoint is, is uh, it breaks at a certain point. <coughs> it breaks the macro at a certain point and allows you to keep stepping through it. Or I can press run and you see there's 2500 if I just press run it will now it's 2800 so all it does is it stops the macro at a certain point in time and from that point in time you can either run it you could keep running it or you can start stepping into stuff so that's what a breakpoint does so 
Um, a huge part of a huge part of debugging so is stepping through and setting breakpoints, but it, it wouldn't be worth anything if you couldn't see values in memory, because that's a huge a huge advantage to debugging is that you can see what values are, what these variable values are. And how you do that is by using these windows over here, either locals or immediate or watch. And the two you're going to most use is the locals and the watch. So I just clicked on this locals window here. And I'm just going to bring it up. And all this, lo I'm going to take off the breakpoint. And, all, and we're going to step through this. <clears throat> and all this locals window does is show you the value of all your variables in the macro that you're currently in. So as soon as I press this step into, I just press step into, this locals window says the expression x, this variable x, it has a value of 0. And if I keep stepping through, uh, right now, I, you just, I don't know if you saw that, but it just took the value of uh, in solid 1.1 one, one and put it in X and you could see it did the same thing down here in this locals window so it's like watching memory it's like a window into your computer's memory that's what this locals window is doing it's showing you what is being held in memory what is the value of X and if I step through again then you just see that X is now 3400 so in memory that value X is now 3400 and if I step through again, it's it's not doing anything to X. It's just putting it in the cell, so it's still 3,400 here. And then it ends this up. So that's let me do that again. So when you step through your locals window, it has a value of zero because X doesn't have anything in it. It's not even declared yet. So it doesn't. Your memory doesn't even know about X yet. And as soon as you assign something to X, uh, let me bring this up even higher. As soon as I assign something to X, it just changes to 3400. And now if I take this value X, which is 3400, and I add 300 to it, you'll, you're going to see a change of 3700. Uh, so that's all this locals window does. is it, it, it shows you all the variables in the macro and, and their values. So when I say all the values, all the variables, let me just declare a variable here, dim y as integer. So this is another variable that's going to be in memory. And I'm just going to set y as uh, 10. And all I'm going to do is equal is go, uh, let me just go y is equal to y plus, 20, plus 10. So now I have two variables. So I just want to show you that the locals window, as soon as you start debugging and doing the step into, all your variables in the macro are going to show up. And that's what it's good for because it shows you all the variables in your macro. And you can see as I step through uh, right now, y has a value of 10 in the memory. In the memory. So if I add 10 to it here, if I execute this line, now it has 20 in it. So that's that's all that this locals window does. So I use that, you know, maybe 20% of the time. But a lot of times I don't need to see all the variables in the mac in the uh, in the macro, I only want to I only want to watch like one or two. So this watch window is exactly what what I just said. Is it does exactly what I just said? It only watches what you want to watch. So if I uh, let me just bring this down. So now I have a locals window, and I click this watch window here, and here's the watch window. And the watch window is pretty much exactly like your locals window, only you decide what variables are being watched. So let's say I only want to watch the value y. I'm just going to um, I'm just going to highlight y and go add watch. And it will bring up this window which says you want to add a watch on y. Yes I do. So I could click OK right now and I always do. But sometimes you want to uh, have a watch type of breaking when the value is true or breaking when the value changes. So you can you know play with these things, but usually I just want to watch the variable. I don't want to uh, break it, stop the code when the value is true or stop the code when the value changes. So that's what these things do. It stops the code. When it says break, it means stop the code. So I don't want to stop the code. I just want to watch it. So I'm just going to leave that radio button checked and I'm going to press OK. So now in my watch window, I have Y here and it says the value is out of context because I'm not running 
this macro yet. I just uh, not running it at all. So if I if I do run it, if I start stepping into it, you'll see that in my locals window I have exactly what I had before, all the variables. But in my watches window, I only have the variable that I'm watching that I decided to watch. Okay, and other than that that's all your watch window does it does the same exact thing it's going to show you you know peek into your computer's memory and show you what the value of the variable y is so you declare a variable y um, as an integer so in your memory there's a little space for an integer and here's what the value is that's what these windows do and it's great for debugging you're going to use it a lot uh, as a, de a VBA a developer or someone who writes macros um, so that's all these windows do is a watch window you just select you just select uh, the variables you want to watch whereas a locals automatically it automatically gives you all the variables and again to set a watch you just highlight it and go add watch and it'll bring up that box again and just click OK so now you're watching now I would watch two variables so that's what this but that's what this window the locals window does that's what this one window does the watch window there's one more window here um, I don't use it a lot um, I very rarely use it. It's called the immediates window, and all this does is allows you to check the value of a variable and change it if you want. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's step into the code, and now I could go into this immediate window, and I could write question mark x, and if I hit enter, it'll say zero. And if I step into again, now if I run question mark x, it'll say uh, 4300 well that's because I was running this macro a lot so that's the value of the cell here do you see that so if I do question mark X it gives me the value of X if I do oops if I do uh, if I assign it a value if I do X equals 200 and then press enter and then I do question mark X then it tells me it's 200. So right now you can see in this immediate window it allows you to change the value of your variable. This is very kind of powerful but I don't use it a lot but you can do it. You can change the value of your variable. So to get the value of your variable you saw that I did question mark x question mark the variable it'll then tell you the value of your variable or if you want to set the value of your variable you can do that and that's what you would do in this immediate window. And you could use that while you're debugging. Um, I don't use it a lot but um, that's all that immediate window does. Notice that the immediate window doesn't have a continuous update like these windows up here, right? Um, it it's not a watch and it doesn't show you all the local variables. You have to type stuff. You have to type question mark x or x equals the stuff. You have to make things happen. So that's all that uh, debugging is about. Um, it's basically you're going to be stepping into things you're going to be um, sometimes stepping over, but mostly stepping into, um, and then you're going to be watching stuff. So you want to be, you want to have these windows up. And I would just say, start out with a locals window and a watch window. And personally, I just use a watch, and I just select stuff that I want to watch. So that's uh, that's debugging in a nutshell. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know about this debug toolbar. You know what all these buttons do now. Um, this call stack we don't need to worry about now um, and quick watch I think that's the same as watch but just use this watch window here so you know everything about the debug toolbar you know all about these buttons up here these these other windows so you are familiar with uh, Visual Basic Editor you know you know everything about it uh, you should be comfortable with it there's nothing new there's nothing hard about it so uh, that's all I wanted to say for this video and if you want to download macros that are you see um, go to excelvbasql.com and you could download the actual files the working macros okay thanks bye